Kirsty, you have redeemed yourself. There you go, everybody. I might have lost my lionesses, although not for very long, but we've got our secretary bird on camera. And in fact, this one is so relaxed, I'm actually going to get us a bit closer. Let's catch up with it. It is perfectly relaxed, and I really want you to see just how comic it is when they hunt. Quite entertaining to watch them. I never realized until the other day when Viv and I were basically parked on top of one. We didn't park there, they came to us. Hello. Would you mind if we follow you for a bit? Here we go. Elaborate headdress blowing in the wind. And just fascinating to watch them catch the insects that they go after. They are professional snake murderers, or actually just snake feeders, but they do also feed off various little insects, and they use those powerful legs to kick until whatever it is that they are after is incapacitated. Striding through the grass plains. Come on, we need to find something soon. <laughs> and I, I couldn't quite he hear who this comment was from, but um, I think it was Jono. Jono, you say, shouldn't this bird be answering the company phone? Um, <laughs> haha, Jono, haha. Um, if we had a company phone, perhaps. That there's no signal out here in the wilds of Africa. Or perhaps it's just because we dropped the company phone somewhere in the grass and it's busy looking for it. Or a misplaced notepad. Francis, in Israel, you want to know if these birds can fly? You know what, Francis? Kirsty knows the answer to that very well. And the answer to that is yes, they can. And they can fly away very quickly when you're desperate to put them on camera, which has happened to me twice in a row. So I'm very happy to say that we finally managed to get one on camera. Oh, did it catch something? Got something? Oh, what's that? I couldn't see what that was. It went so quickly. So yes, they can fly. They actually nest up in trees. They roost up in trees at night. But they are essentially adapted to hunting on the ground like this, stalking through the grasses. Obviously the name coming from the idea of somewhat, I think somewhat out outdated idea of a secretary wearing with sort of long legs and stockings on. Ferocious looking birds. Oh, wind is howling. Those feathers must actually get quite uncomfortable in wind like this. Especially the ones at the top of their heads. It's getting away, Manu. Good grief, we'd better catch up. I can see where our lionesses are, or the direction that they're in, just by the Expression on the topi's face. Nancy, they are about a meter tall. So about three feet tall, not the lions, that is the secretary birds. But they are actually quite tall. They might be just a little bit under a meter, but oh, about a meter, just under a meter tall. So they're big birds. They're big, very powerful birds. I'm now tossing up, I mean, not quite as big and powerful as that bird over there. There's an ostrich as well. There's the ostrich. So I'm not quite as tall as an ostrich, but quite large and quite powerful enough. Now to the right of that ostrich is a very distressed looking topi. Staring off in the direction that our lioness disappeared. So I'm going to go and see if I can find her. We're going to send you back across to Tristan and the lovely hyenas of Juma for the last few minutes.